All right, if you are looking for a way to speed up your post-production process, especially in the audio syncing world, this video is gonna change your life and hopefully this product will as well. What's going on guys, my name is Garrett. Blue Blucher, and I'm a filmmaker out of Houston, Texas, and my channel is all about helping you grow your passion and profits through video. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, consider subscribing. If not, it's cool, but let's get to the product review because I don't want to waste your time. Full disclosure, this is my second time filming it. First time was super disorganized, so we're gonna get straight to the point. What do I like about these things? Time code. Time code has completely changed my life from a post-production standpoint as far as syncing audio. I do tons of multicam edits. I'm basically always recording audio off camera besides when I'm in the studio like this where I can have my nice Shure SM7B hooked up to my Rodecaster going straight into the camera and I know the audio is crystal clear. But that's only about 10% of the time. The other 90% of the time I'm out in the field so I need some other solution. Now, with off-camera recording, I used to use these Taz cams and would just hit record and hope that they stay on. There was no way of monitoring it. Um, they had great battery life. I trusted them a lot better than other products that I had tried, like the wireless Rode Mic Go whatever thing, which completely disconnected all the time. But regardless, time code basically lets you get into post-production and sync everything via time code. No more clicking sync by waveform and crossing your fingers that everything syncs it's going to sync with time code because time code is the exact time of day injected into the cameras and injected into both off camera audio sources or just one if you just have one or more if you have more so time code definitely worth it number two sound sound on these things is phenomenal so let's go ahead and take a listen this is weird making myself up i'm not used to this all right sorry not sorry for the nasty chord i would usually hide it but we're just going to be listening to this to a little bit. So I'm going to say the same sentence and I'm going to play the first one from the Shure SM7B running into the Rodecaster straight into camera. The second one I'm going to record off of the Tentacle Sync E recorder and play that one right after so you can kind of hear the difference between. All right, this is what it sounds like on the Shure SM7B. This is how my voice sounds like on this microphone. And this is what it sounds like on the Tentacle Sync E recorder. This is how my voice sounds like on this microphone. Okay, next thing I really like about these microphones is the 32-bit float audio, which I had no clue what it was when I first started using this, but quickly figured it out. If you've ever shot video or photo in RAW, it's basically like recording audio in RAW. You can recover everything. You can recover peaks, you can recover um, low decibels. Basically, it gets everything you need and rarely, rarely ever peaks, which the only time I've had it actually peak where I couldn't recover it was when it was straight in front of a speaker at a wedding and they were blaring music, so I don't expect that to be able to recover from that peak. All right, next thing I really like about these recorders is the battery life. These charge via USB-C, which is the next thing I was gonna talk about, but they charge via USB-C, they last over 12 hours. I hate having to worry about if something is going to go wrong. If I can charge something and I'm confident that it's gonna last all day long, that's one thing that I have to worry about. One thing less that I have to worry about on the production day, and especially being a one-man band, the more things that we can do like that, the better we're gonna be, the better our product's gonna be, the more business we can give, the more money we can make, et cetera, et cetera. With the battery life, the other cool thing about this product is it has its own app. So I'm going to screen record this so you can see what I'm talking about. This ecosystem has its own app. So we open the Tentacle Sync app and I've already got, a, already got all of mine linked. But the cool thing we can do here is we can sync all of the recorders and the on-camera time code injectors straight from our phone without having to touch a camera, without having to pull a mic off of somebody. We know everything is perfectly in sync. As you can see, it gives it nice little names. The green one I just turned off, so that's why it well, that's another cool thing is that it says it's not plugged in. So see, it has a little aux cord with a caution sign. That means that it's not actually plugged into anything. Really cool that it realizes that. Along with the battery, it shows you the battery life on your phone. So say you have a recorder on somebody and you're nervous that it's about to die. Well, you can see if it's still on and if you need to pull it off of that person. Now, the other cool thing about this inside the app, let's say we want to click on Lorette. Okay, Lorette is this green microphone right here. The things that I can do from it are, I can hit record. So now we're recording from Lorette. I can turn the gain all the way down. 
And so it goes all the way down to six decibel. It shows you the literally live feed of the waveform coming straight from this microphone onto your phone. So literally, again, one less thing you have to worry about. You can do that gain all the way up to 26, but or all the way up to 46, my bad, but that's super loud. You really won't need that. And you can always turn it up in post. So I would always go lower than you need to rather than higher. All right, the last nice thing I would say about the app is that you can change the color of each one. So I have a two camera setup. I use two Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6Ks. And on one, I named it red, which kind of punny for a camera guy, right? Um, but I've got both of the red bands on the red recorder and the red camera. And then I have a green band on my B cam, which is the green cam, which goes with the green recorder. So I kind of know which recorder is on which person, like especially at weddings when I've mic'd up the officiant and I've mic'd up the groom, I always try and stick with, okay, my main camera is gonna be on the groom, second cam is gonna be on the officiant. That way I can remember who's on which one. That way when I get into post-production, I know which one. So app is phenomenal. Really, it, it actually has really good um, Bluetooth bandwidth, if that's even a thing, but it, I can sync things from almost 200, 300 feet out. Um, so that's definitely very, very impressive. All right, next thing I really like is the form factor. The form factor of these is very, very small. Most of the times when I'm recording, people are usually wearing a suit, either on the corporate side or on the wedding side. So put this on, put it on their lapel, drop it into their coat pocket, and I'm good to go. Okay, form factor of all of these things are very, very small. They fit in my Pelican case and take up basically no real estate, which is another awesome thing. Um, even the Tentacle Sync E, which is the one that goes on the camera, you can buy this nice little bracket, which I also did buy. Go straight onto the cage of my camera. If you don't have that, these are super, super light, and you can actually just attach it via Velcro on the back. Next thing I really like about this package is that the recorders come with lab mics already, and as you can hear, they're pretty decent mics. Not phenomenal, definitely not like movie grade. I wouldn't say they're as good as Sennheiser, but for something coming straight out of camera, really, really not bad. Next thing I like about this is the clip. Not that I've honestly ever used this, but if I ever get stuck in a situation where I need a clip on the back of it, I have it. Now, let's say I don't want it on there. It comes off, it's not permanent. You can literally just take it straight off the camera and now I just have the recorder with no little clip on the back of it. Now, I will say that I've lost this probably twice now because it is so easy to take off, but if you just leave it off, it comes in a nice little bag. You can put it in the bag if you want to. I honestly just leave it on my camera most of the time. All right, so those are all the things that I do like about the camera. I love time code. I love the sound that comes out of it. I love the 32-bit audio. I love the battery life. I love the remote recording. I love the USB-C, I love the form factor, I love that I can just drop all the audio straight onto my computer without taking an SD card out. What else do I like? I like the color, the labs, pretty much everything besides the price. The price is definitely steep. The recorders are, yep, yeah, I was right. So each recorder is $350, so that's definitely not cheap, but for 700 bucks, you have a reliable off-camera audio solution, which in my book is totally worth it and has definitely made its money back in the value that it gives me and the time that it saves me. The other thing that I don't like about it is that the monitoring from the phone and the app is definitely kind of sketchy. I really wish that I could use like my AirPods while I'm on set to listen to the audio from the off-camera recording. That way I could monitor whether that sounds good or bad. Um, you can, if you want to, stick your old school headphones into the top of this and monitor what it sounds like straight out of camera from the lab mic if you wanted to. The other option you have is to actually plug headphones into your phone to hear that. Now, other than that, highly, highly, highly recommend this product if you can afford it. If you're interested in buying this product, then please use the link in my description for Amazon or B&H, whichever one you prefer. Sometimes they have them on other places, I think b &H. But other than that, thank you for watching this video. And again, if you're interested in growing your passion and profits through video, consider subscribing to my channel and we'll see you in the next video. That was the most disorganized video I've ever made. <laughs>